Hi guys, I'm Dan from GAK Pro Audio in Brighton and I'm here to show you today a fantastic digital piano, the Roland HPI 7F. The first thing to tell you about is the, I suppose, the ivory feel, uh, the synthesized ivory veneer on the top of the keys so you don't get the standard plastic tacky feeling, if you will, that you get off some of the lesser uh, lesser keyboards and, and digital pianos. This makes it a lot better for sensitive playing and just has a much nicer feel under your fingers. A little further in than that, obviously the piano action. This is arguably, well, in my opinion, it's, it's probably the best digital piano action there is available. It's Roland's PHA3, which is Progressive Hammer Action, uh, their third, third take of. Um, this comes with, much like all the, the Roland pianos at the minute, it comes with escapement built in. So that gives you the ability to get a, uh, an extra strike off the piano without having to release the key to the full extent uh, back to the top of the keys uh, range. So for things like, for particularly sensitive playing, um, it just makes it a lot easier, a lot more expressive than, uh, than, than most other digital pianos for this. In particular, a good way to show it is with a trill. So, for instance, as opposed to with a lot of pianos, if I strike the key, before I can get it to sound again, I'll have to release my finger all the way back up to the top. But this particular action has the capability to strike the note, come a little bit up, and still get another strike, a lesser strike. That's the beauty of escapement. It's a triple sensor action. So with sensitive parts... just makes it a lot nicer to play under the fingers, a lot more like a real acoustic piano. The, the keys themselves as well, as opposed to finishing just behind here like they would do on a normal little stage piano, one of the extra things you're paying for with the action is that this part of the key itself extends really quite far back inside the piano, which means when you do have to bite deep inside the keyboard itself, you get a lot more, um, again, you get a lot more potential for playing expressively and getting dynamic variation even when you're really deep into the keys. Again, you don't get that on a lot of digital pianos. So, with regards to the sounds, you've got Roland's Supernatural Piano, which is their flagship, their supernatural technology, which they're putting into the pianos, um, certainly of this, uh, of, this, of this price point. Um, this is not only a bank of exceptionally well recorded piano samples but also you get on there harmonics that are synthesized little nuances that come through and poke through at particularly expressive points during playing a piece all of these are, as well are manipulatable so you can change the characteristics of the sound by going into the piano designer so as you can see here i've got a number of um, a number of things that can be adjusted everything from the damper resonance so that's the, uh, obviously the damper pedal. I can adjust the lid so I can scroll down here. This is a good one to show you. I can go into the lid and we can see a representation of the lid virtually opening and closing. So if I, if I put it to the closed position, this gives a very insular sound in the piano, good for kind of classical pieces and uh, a sort of more a baroque sound, if you will. And it gives a softer, warmer, tone whereas if I simply then open the lid you can see it opening as well to its extreme and even to the point where you can take the lid off and this just gives with exactly the same chord I'm just playing E here so if uh, you were playing along if you needed a concert piano sound going over an orchestra this is the kind of thing that you would use because it just gives the bright expressiveness that's required for that sort of thing So if you if you're doing pop music, you know 90% of the time you want the you want the piano poking out through the mix. Then then you're going to do this. You know every every pop song you can think of is most of the time. If the piano plays any relevance in the mix at all, it's going to be open. You like so Elton John playing a grand like this, he's going to have the lid open. You can hear 
the way it uh, the way it works there. Um, there's loads of other characteristics you can change. The hammer noise, I can adjust the tuning, I can adjust the temperament of the piano, um, I can adjust the resonance of the cabinet. All of this just makes it possible to change a sound even, even once you've selected it to then to change it further. Um, one other thing definitely worth mentioning about the HPI 7F is that it's great not only for uh, really experienced pianists but also if you're a beginner and you're learning the piano um, this is just a great tool to help you along with that as well within it you have built-in lessons um, finger exercises visual aids so you can see the uh, the, the notes you're playing going uh, going along in real time um, you can subtract the left or right hand parts from songs that you've put into the piano yourself um, so this enables you to practice pieces in a broken down format which which is what piano teachers have been recommending for a long period of time students will always learn one hand followed by the other um, this piano allows you to do that allows you to completely remove one part and then slow that part down so you can play along and the HPI 7F will, will play along with you the parts that you're not comfortable playing with yet so I'll just show you a couple of the other sounds built in it's got some popular electric piano sounds. It's got more vintage. Orchestral sounds as well built in, so we've got uh, decent strings here. And on others as well, much like other digital pianos, it does, uh, you know, a really decent rendition uh, with with a church organ as well. One other point, well worth mentioning, with the uh, the Roland HPI 7F, is the speaker system. It's what really sets it apart uh, from from the lesser models. You've got two speakers down here. You've got a further two speakers in here, and two at the top as well. The two at the bottom on this particular model are giving you the bottom end of the uh, the harmonic spectrum. Uh, the speakers here giving you the mids, and the speakers up here are giving you the tops. And this just when you're playing, when you're actually sat in front of the piano gives you a much better representation of what it's like sat in front of a decent uh, acoustic grand piano. So if you have any other questions about the Roland HPI 7F or any of the other pianos uh, in the store, feel free to get in touch.